All right, so students, I'm going to go over. So in this video, I'm going to go over some student papers so that you can learn more about what is the five paragraph essay structure that I'm looking for in your week four rough draft assignment. So I'm just going to go over the most common mistakes that students made in their week four video. So here is the video. Here is the um, share my screen. And I'm going to go into this one. So hold on, let me go to home. All right. And so um, for Dustin, all right, his thesis should be hearing my son's diagnosis of cancer. So when you write a thesis statement, you have to have three parts, topic plus opinion plus reason. And so topic would be hearing my son's diagnosis of cancer. Topic was the hardest day of my life, opinion, because reason one, reason two, reason three. And so here, how did I learn what is important in life? So this, is, this was Dustin's um, paper. How, do, how did I learn what is important in life? I have asked myself that on a couple of occasions as of late, and I still wonder about it sometimes. Throughout this paper, I will go over some of the things I learned to help me learn what is important in life. I will talk about, um, I plan to talk the com about the conversation I had between the doctor and me who first told me about my son's cancer diagnosis. I will discuss how people from all walks of life came together to give hope to my son. And I will talk about the fear of the unknown and hope for the future. And so here I am writing a slightly better version of his uh, thesis. And so here you would write thesis, right? And I'm not quite sure how I make this a different color. I know how to do it in the, um... anyway, so I'll just say it. And so hearing my son's diagnosis, and then here uh, was the hardest day of my life because, and then here you would write about uh, reason one, reason two, and reason three. And so here, paragraph two will be reason one, paragraph three will be reason two, paragraph four would be reason three. And then you write five to seven sentences about each reason. And then you restate the thesis as the first sentence and you write a five to seven sentence takeaway lesson for the reader to learn as your conclusion. And so you can write this template for your uh, week five rough draft and your week six final draft. And you have to make sure that each paragraph is five to seven, five to seven sentences long. And so this is, but you did, did, did but he did a great job in including a dialogue in the paper. So here the, the, the paragraphs are too long. He also needs to indent five spaces one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you need to indent five spaces, the first line of every paragraph. And then each paragraph is missing a topic sentence that goes back to your, uh, to your thesis. So let's say I use the thesis statement that he, he had over here, okay? Um, my son's cancer diagnosis changed my life, life forever. And then you would have, because reason one, reason two, and reason three. And so you include the thesis statement as the last sentence of the first paragraph. And then here, you're going to write a topic sentence that's going to match, okay? You're going to write a topic sentence that's going to match the thesis. So if the thesis, for whatever reason one is, 
So that's going to be your topic sentence. Okay, reason one. Then you're going to write a five to seven sentence paragraph. So this is too long. So this needs to be a five to seven sentences. Then you're going to write reason two that matches the matches the thesis. Okay, and that's going to be the topic sentence for the next paragraph. And then you're going to write here, you need to shorten it to five to seven sentences. And then you have to write about reason three. And then here you're going to write um, that matches the All right, and so all of these three, so you're just missing your topic sentences. So that's why you lost a lot of points is you have to have reason to matches the, the thesis. You don't have to, you don't have to uh, bold it, but I, I just, I'm just doing this, bolding it for teaching purposes. So topic sentence has to, you know, topic sentence that matches the thesis, okay? And then your thesis statement is going to be the last sentence of the first paragraph. Oh, oh, okay, so let's do that again. Okay. Topic plus reason. Uh, no, 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 topic plus opinion plus reason. One, two, three. So that's going to be the thesis, All right? And so I'll play this bolds. And anyway, uh, I'm not going to bother holding. So that's the thesis. And then those, these are the topic sentences that matches each thesis. Okay. That matches uh, the thesis. Nope, it's not working. Okay. So reason three that matches thesis. Okay. I won't, I won't, I won't bother to, but you get the idea. All right. And then here in the conclusion, all right, in the conclusion, you repeat the thesis. As the first. Okay, so you repeat the thesis as the first sentence. And then let's see if I can actually doesn't seem to, you know, it doesn't seem to want to. Um, okay, this will take a while. I got to figure this out. Nope, it's not file, obviously, eh. not file, not, okay, so week five instruction session, not this one, this one, not this one, not this one, not that one. Anyway, you get the idea. So when you have a, well, I will stop share, just, just stop share. Okay. So anyway, you get the idea. So when you have a, a thesis statement, it has to be the last sentence of the first paragraph. And then you have reason one, reason two, reason three, and then you have topic sentences that match the thesis. And so here, if I can find my file again, you know, to share, okay, hold on, hold on. share screen. And I think it's this one, I hope. Okay, let's share it again. Let's hope this is the right one. I'm not sure. Nope. This is week four. This is somebody's. All right. I'm going to have to do this. Oh, I can't do this video again. Okay. Because it's going to render. All right. So you're going to have to stand by as I look for my file. Let's see. So file, uh, new, open, file, close. No, cancel. All right. So I'm not going to try to, to not going to try to bold it because it doesn't bold. Anyway, so you repeat the, the thesis as the first sentence. Okay. Next paragraph, not next, next uh, person. So here you have um, same thing. So here is Kelsey's, um, everything has to go down here. Hold on. Let me go down here. All right. So Kelsey, Okay, you did a great story about credit card debt and recovery, but you also need to have a thesis statement and supporting paragraphs. And so your thesis statement has to match your topic sentences. So you can have your thesis statement as credit cards are not for everyday use because reason one, reason two, and reason three. And so here is the same thing. Paragraph two is reason one, 
Paragraph three is reason two. Paragraph four is reason three. And paragraph five is your conclusion. So in life, we face many situations. When we become adults, we are hit with the reality that there are no uncomplicated ways out. The biggest lesson I had to learn was about credit card debt. When I was about 18 years old, I got my credit card. I did not fully understand how credit cards worked. I assumed I got free money for being adult. Sounds right, sounds about right. Uh, unfortunately, that is not how anything in life works. And I was faced with years of credit card debt and a low debt score, a low credit, sco low credit score. So here you would say, um, you would place your thesis statement over here, uh, three life lessons I learned about credit card usage are lesson that credit cards are not for everyday use, that a person needs to uh, save money and a person needs a budget when using a credit card. So then you would write your paragraph two, credit cards are not for everyday use. A person needs to save money and not use credit cards for a shopping spree. A person needs to budget his money so, so he, so they do not get into debt. And then you repeat the thesis again. In the paragraph five is your uh, conclusion paragraph. So you repeat the first as a first sentence, you know, first, first sentence the thesis as the first sentence. Okay, so you repeat the thesis as the first sentence. And so here you have, so here you, you, you have your thesis statement. Three life lessons I learned about credit card usage are that credit card usage are not for everyday use. A person needs to save money and not use credit cards for a shopping spree. And then uh, the third part, is a person needs to budget his money when using a credit card so you don't fall into debt. So this is the correct, and then you're gonna write five sentences about this. So you write five sentences about why credit cards are not for everyday use. And then you're gonna write five sentences about why a person needs to save money and not go on a shopping spree. And then you're gonna write five sentences about how you save money, budget your money, and not go into debt. And it's in these five sentences that you write a mini story about yourself. It's in these five sentences you talk about, oh, well, credit cards are not for everyday use. I learned this lesson because when I was 18 years old, you know, I used my credit cards too much and ended up going into debt. I, and, then, and then in the paragraph three, I learned instead of going on a shopping spree, uh, I, I need to like save money because I went and bought everything at Amazon and I went over budget. And so now I'm in debt. And so I need to budget my money so I could pay off my credit card debt. And now I rarely use credit cards at all, okay, or whatever. Then that way you have your three um, body paragraphs that match your thesis statement. So that's for Kelsey, because Kelsey, you lost points because you did not have topic sentences that related back to your thesis. And then Diane Navarro. And you need, Diane, you need to, you need a better way to organize your, your ideas. 
you need, also need a thesis statement with three reasons that become your body paragraphs. So here you wrote, happiness is an emotional state, usually positive, feelings of joy, satisfaction, contentment, and fulfillment. Happiness indicates a person's overall feelings, not just at the present time. This essay is all about how I am choosing to be happy and being grateful. And so here you can write an, uh, your um, essay about being happy. So happiness is a state of being positive, being grateful, and being content. And so then paragraph two is happiness is a state of being positive about one's life. Paragraph three is happiness is about a state of being grateful about one's life. Most of all, happiness is about being content with what a person has, conclusion. And then you can use the elements of these, um, of your essay into your five, the five sentences uh, will then your, your, your uh, story, your narrative story then goes into these five sentences. So why would happiness is a state of being positive? And then you would talk about all the positive things in your life. Paragraph three, you would talk about why you're grateful. And paragraph four, you talk about being content and why it's important to be content. And then you can use examples from your life to show how you can be content. All right, so that's uh, Diane Navarro's paper. Okay, Stephanie, you have a great story, but once again, you also need to have a thesis statement with, because I'm saying, I'm saying the same things. So everybody made the same mistake. So here is Stephanie's paper. I have lived with many regrets in my life, but this is one of the hardest and most hurtful regrets that I have ever had. It taught me a lot about life and how to value every minute, but not just to value life itself, but to value the memories, moments, and every part of the day when it comes to keeping these memories and moments close to your heart. Sometimes in life, I feel like we are always in such a hurry. We forget to slow down, basically smell the roses. Most of us are out of tune with life uh, and social media or our phones. And we forget to put that away and actually have a face-to-face -face conversation with that friend, spouse, parent, or whoever it might be that is part of our life. And then here, you can put your thesis statement, which is going to be one of the best lessons I learned by taking care of my grandmother with Alzheimer's is not to hurry through life. Take time to appreciate each moment and spend valuable time with loved ones because one never knows when a loved one will pass away. And so this becomes the moral of your narrative. And so then you would write in paragraph two, I learned that one should not hurry through life, but take one's time through life as my grandmother used to teach me. And then you write your life story within the body paragraph. I learned to appreciate each moment with a loved one, especially an older loved one. And so here, then this would take time to appreciate each moment is, would be paragraph three. I learned to my regret never to prioritize work over taking care of an elderly loved one. That is the most important um, lesson I learned and also my biggest regret. And then you would uh, write in the paragraph as the climax, as that your grandmother passed away while you were busy doing your schoolwork and you thought of the schoolwork more important than that sort of thing. So that would be you, the moral of the story. And each reason gets more and more important until you reach the climax of the story within paragraph four. And so you build the climax until you get the paragraph, that's, that's what you do in a in narrative essay, is that you build the climax of the story. And then by paragraph four, it's the most um, climactic part, the most exciting part, the most meaningful part of your essay. Then in your conclusion, that's your resolution. That's where you give the reader closure. 
Then you repeat the thesis statement as the first sentence of the last paragraph. And so then you have a, once you fill out this five paragraph essay structure, then you have essay coherence. Okay, so you are missing, and also you need to double space your paper. And so here you are missing a uh, topic sentence. So here your topic sentence has to go back to your thesis statement. And so here, if I were to write one of the best lessons of my life was not, is not to hurry through life, okay? And this becomes the moral of your story. So if I do this and I place it here as the thesis statement, so that becomes your thesis statement. And then you're gonna write down um, not to hurry through life, okay? Uh, first, one should not hurry through life. So that be, that's your topic sentence. So notice that your topic sentence matches your thesis statement. Okay, and then second, one must spend valuable time with an elderly loved one. Okay, so one must spend valuable time with one's elderly loved one because that's the third part because you never know and oh and you take the time to appreciate each moment okay and third take the time to appreciate each moment and so basically you were missing these kind of topic sentences and and uh, that's supposed to go and match your thesis statement. And so that's where the majority of your points went to is that your topic sentences did not match your thesis statement for better essay coherence. And then here, this is someone else's paper. Okay, so the next, the next, the next, the next person, Victoria Thomas. All right, so your thesis statement, once again, all right, should have the three elements and then the three topic sentences. 2020 was a life-changing year for me because I went through a divorce, was homeless, and went back to nursing school to start my life over again. So that becomes the summary of your body paragraphs of your entire essay. And so here you would write in your thesis statement, okay, that uh, 2020 was the year you started over. <coughs> so here you put in 2020, and then you, you put it over here. And then here you, you say, I went through a divorce. So in 2020, I went through a divorce. So that becomes the second paragraph, homeless. In 2020, I was homeless. So here you have a thesis statement, I mean a topic sentence that matches your thesis statement. You have another topic sentence and went back to nursing school. In 2020, homeless, restarted my life over again, rolling in nursing school. That's it. Okay. So now your topic sentence resembles your thesis statement. So if you have to, your thesis statement should <clears throat> summarize, so your thesis statement should summarize the content of your body paragraph. So here you have um, divorce, homeless, and back to nursing school. So here, divorce, homeless, and back to nursing school. You just have to have that your first paragraph, topic sentence, 
Oh, I figured out how to do the, uh, the bowl. Remember how I couldn't do the bowl before? Okay, topic sentence. You don't have to bowl this. Okay, you don't have to bowl this. It's just for teaching purposes. And so here, oh, I restarted my, my there. Okay, so in 2020, after being homeless, I restarted my life over again by enrolling in nursing school. And so here, you, this, this, and this all matches, all match your thesis statement. And then you did a very good job. You can keep the five sentence uh, uh, origin story before your, your thesis statement. So you did a really good job over here. So that's, that's really good. And now you have essay structure. Oh, and then you have to repeat the thesis statement. Okay, you have to repeat the thesis statement. Let's see, so you have to repeat the thesis statement as the first sentence. Here, that's the first sentence, first sentence of your last paragraph. And that's all you did wrong, basically, okay? And then you need to make sure that each paragraph has only five to seven sentences. And these paragraphs are a bit too long, so you have to uh, shorten it so that it's five to seven sentences. Okay. And Kiana. You also need to have a thesis statement with three reasons, and then these three reasons become your body paragraphs. And so here, this was your um, this was your uh, introduction. My working thesis is to explain why I have a guard up as a parent with my children now when it comes to not being able to protect them. You never know who you are giving 100% or even 50% access when it comes to the safety of your children. So to protect them, even when I am not around, I must teach them the importance of safety and the signs to be aware of. This topic is extremely sensitive to me because as a child, overhearing a conversation my mother was having with a sibling, I learned that my mother was molested as a child for years by someone living in her home. I connect with this topic because I was also put in the same position as a child to be molested by a family member. So that's very good background for your thesis statement. And now you need to have your thesis statement. And you remember your thesis is topic, opinion, reasons. And so here you have, it is important for parents to teach their children how to avoid sexual predators because then you have the reasons. My mother was molested as a child and called a liar. I was molested as a child and suffered. Therefore, my children needs to know, or my children need to know, okay, how to be safe and how to avoid sexual predators. Okay, so that becomes, and then here you would have, my mother was molested and called a liar. And so this becomes paragraph two. Then paragraph three, which matches your thesis statement. I was molested as a child and suffered from consequences. And then you have the most important, you always leave your most important reason last. As a result, it is important for my children to learn how to avoid sexual predators so that my children don't have to suffer the way I and my mother did. Okay, and then you write, and then it's in these five sentences that you write your your story, you write mini stories, you write about yourself. And then if you have a thesis statement with three body, with three topic sentences that match your thesis statement, then you have five paragraph essay structure. And so you notice that all of these essays that I gathered together all had the same mistake, which is you didn't have a clear thesis statement with body paragraph. I believe that's the last one. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, so all of these, so I will stop share, hold on. And so all of these essays had the same, had the same mistake in that they're missing the body, they're missing the thesis statement that needs to have 
three clear topic sentences that matches the thesis statement because your thesis statement summarizes the content of your body paragraph. Okay, so I hope that this video helps you in revising your essay and rewriting your essay so that you can, um, you know, get a better grade and you can learn the five paragraph essay structure. So after you, re after you rewrite your essay in this template that I gave you, then you can um, upload it to your week five uh, forum. And you can also use this template for your week six final draft. But note that if you hand in your week six final draft this week, I'm not gonna grade it until next week, okay? Because this week I'm gonna focus on only grading the week five forum so that I have time to help you with your essays. And then I have time to participate in the week five forum itself. So I grade week by week. That, that's basically how I make the time for extra time for students who need extra help. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. You can even email me bits and parts of your paper if you want me to help you tweak your thesis or tweak your topic sentences. Or um, so if you have no more questions, I will end this meeting and I will wish you all a really good week.